In the beginning, movement could only be presented through the repetition of images. Each image the same, but shown in slight variation. For the times, although eloquent, the essence was lost to a lack of technology, a lack of the machinery and the mechanism to bring these mysterious glimpses of the day-to-day, -day, a mixture of dreams and reality, into a presentable focus and bring them on a larger scale to public audiences. Times past, there were men with vision, magicians, mystics, scientists, technicians, and explorers of spirit and energy. These men saw the future, embraced it, and began to solve the problems of long centuries past. Their ideas evolved and brought new sights and sounds to life. Beyond stone, chalk, charcoal, and pigment, something more tangible now, and for many, more immediately frightening and captivating. Optics and effects ranging from the camera obscura and magic lanterns of the 1300s through the 1600s, optics of all types, special effects, shows and expositions into the 1700s, the photographic image of the 1830s and 1840s, and into the wheel of life, the zoetrope of the 1850s through the 1870s an optical toy depicting movement from a series of still images viewed through slits in a revolving wheel. From here, through the work of Edward Moybridge in the 1870s and his studies of movement, there were rapid developments in the ideas of projecting movement. Further, by George Malay's The Lemaire Brothers, Pathé, Edison, Edwin S. Porter, and many more, these men and others brought us into the age of the motion picture and eventually added sound to the pictures that move and talk.